All right, everybody, just a little update on our initial setup for the Starlink internet for our RV. Um, got it, got it set up, got it working outside, and um, then realized that I needed to bring the, the modem router inside. That needs to live inside um, and needs power in there. I had power outside to test it out, and it worked great how to get the cable through the wall of the camper and this is what i was thinking about and how i wanted to do it if i wanted to try to find a passage that um, is already there to use uh, it's going to have to be uh, put in and out when we travel so it's going to have to be convenient easy and uh, yeah i didn't know what to do last night so it was getting dark i just wanted to get that uh get that modem inside so uh yeah i came up with something real quick and i'm going to show you what we did so this is our initial setup and i think it might be what we're going to go with for now until we test things out and where we where we want to do things permanently but i'll show you the outside setup and then a little later or uh, the end of this video i'll show you how we did it inside um inside isn't quite as important we just ran it to a power outlet and it's sitting there but uh, let me show you how i got into the camper all right so here is our dish and the cable coming out of it ran out we're not that far from the from the RV. Ran it under. It's over here. And the one opening that I did have that I remembered was when we redid our shore and generator power for um, when we installed the solar and we needed the separate cables. I installed two new ones. Well, that left this port open, and uh, I knew it was going to come in handy for something. I was thinking maybe an extension cord if I wanted to run inside, outside, uh, something like that. But it was sure easy to uh, to pop this open and run the Starlink cable in there. It's got kind of a big bulky end, and then um, you know close it up and secure it uh, as much as possible for uh, for keeping shit out of there. Um, it'll be easy to unhook it, pull it out when we leave, roll it up with the with the receiver, the dish, and uh, and put it in the garage or in the truck. So I think we're going to go with that access point for now. Uh, we might do some testing with the uh, with the dish on the on the roof of the RV and uh, and a few other places. But uh, yeah, for now I think we're going to roll with that and uh, and see how it works. So. Now to uh, determine where we're going to keep it inside and make a permanent spot for that so we know how far we're going to have to lead in, um, how much cable we're going to have to feed into the camper and keep that minimal so we have more options outside for different places to locate the dish. So stay tuned guys be sure to subscribe be sure to like the video um, subscribe and follow that uh, the Starlink playlist because I'm gonna be doing all sorts of things with the new service we've purchased It's not.